After this week's storm, some people in the area may feel symptoms of mental health struggles, stress, fear, even panic about this upcoming weekend storms. KPRC 2's health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke with an expert about how to deal with one storm at a time. She says it takes three to five days after a traumatic event to feel that stress come down. But as we go into another couple days of possible bad weather, here's her advice. Which is all normal. It, it takes about three to five days to start to feel like, okay, I'm no longer in the stress. So I think that's really important too, is it's gonna be a rough couple of days. And as these storms come, it might re-trigger that. Bad weather is possible this weekend, specifically on Sunday, while residents are still cleaning up. And my pool is gone. Yeah. My plants are gone but we're alive and my kids are safe. We even survived the floods. I, the house never even flooded, so this, this is the worst. This is, I was not expecting this. Dr. Reyes says it's okay to feel grateful and still stressed or fearful at the same time. Take a deep breath. That is really, really difficult. Uh, with that being said, it's really important to ensure yourself that you are safe, right? Your body might be reacting to it like, it had happened before, uh, but recognizing that there is no tornado watch and it is okay for you to feel anxious. And there is a time period where, hey, this is gonna pass. Um, so finding emotional safety is important. If that means going and driving to a friend's house because you feel safer with a community than by yourself is important. Tips to cope with stress and obsessive thoughts about the weather is reminding yourself you're safe, finding your support network, and acknowledging this feeling will pass. If it does persist, for longer than a week, seek help. Dr. Reyes gave me a list of resources for affordable mental health care. That's up now on click2houston.com. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.